In this Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer tutorial, I'm going to show you how to join one curve to another curve, as well as, of course, multiple curves. So let's go through these curves. Well, this started just as a circle. You can see it's a circular design and I've split it apart. But now I want to join this curve to this. Now I can do it in a variety of ways, but I'm just going to put it quite a distance from this one and this one. So first thing to do is make certain they're both selected. So I'm just going to go over here and use the no tool, select this one, hold down the shift and select this one. So they're both selected, then drag over this. So you just drag over these nodes. And once you've done that, you can see there they're selected. You've got this blue dot now selected there. And you can go up here. This is with the no tool selected. It needs to be the no tool. So no tool. And then this option, join curves. You can see one, two, three, four, and five. The fifth one along. So fifth one along, just click here. You can see it looks like a join, sort of. And just click. And there we have it, quickly joined. This one says, now it doesn't look elegant in this case. And of course, it never is. So if I just reposition it, let's just move this around a bit, just position it here. And again, do exactly the same. So select this one and hold down the shift again and select this one. So both selected and again, go here, just click here. And now you can see it joins it like that. Again, not elegant, but it's still joined. And you can do the same now with this one. So just go here, click this one and hold down the shift, click that one. And again, just go here and join once you've selected those because it doesn't know which one you want. You could join all kinds of nodes. So that one and that one, just down there and a click there. And you can see it's joined. You can do exactly the same, say with this one and go over here, select that one. So this one and that one, if I go there, Again, you can see it's active. If it's not active, you will not be able to join it. Simple as that. Sometimes it is just disabled. So just click there and it's done nothing. <laughs> that because it's it just won't do anything with that one. You're not closing it. You're just joining. So we got that. Let's just remove that now. Now I'm in designer. Everything you can do in designer, you can do in Affinity Photo. So I'm going to go to Affinity Photo now. So Infinity Photo, and now I've got this curve. Well, what you can do, you can use snapping to actually drag it over to the point. So if you want to join it all back to exactly the same as it was before as a circle, now I could do this, I could just drag this over. Oh, I think it looks right. And it's not. It needs snapping to be on. How can you do that? You go to view and go to snapping and you can go down here. Normally I just turn everything on. But there's options here, snap to object bounding box, bounding box, snap to shape keyboard. Often just turn quite a few of these on <laughs> and one of them will be the one that will be snapping to. Okay, so once that's done, you can see as you hover over here and it will then click into place. That's all it does, just clicks into place. So anything you move there, just click it into there. Now, of course, once you've done that, again, go here. Now I've got it in a different position, obviously, in Tools, you can move them around. This is in the tools panel. I've got my tool here, no tool. So select no tool. And again, click here and select this one. Hold down the shift, exactly the same as before. So got that one and that one. And then you can only see one node at this point. Obviously, it's on top of each other. So just drag over there. They're both selected now, even though it doesn't look particularly like it. But now you can see over here, you've got that. And then just again, just go here and click. And now you've got just one curve there where you had two and it looks like the circle. And you can do exactly the same here. So let's just go here and select that one. And you can see then I've got that. And with this, I can then join that curve and that one there and that one around there. So let's just drag over there. That's the one I want. And again, click here. And now that's joined. So I've just got down to this. And you can see, obviously, I can go through and recreate the entire circle. Now, of course, in most cases, that's not going to be something you want to do particularly. You don't want to break it apart and then put it all back together again. But this was just to show you the steps to do it. Now you can do, of course, with other shapes. Let's just remove those. And I'm just going to create a very basic line. So pen tool, 
and just click there, click there. And I'm just going to give a bit of a size so you can see it, because obviously at the moment it's not visible, so not particularly visible. And you've got that. So if you've got this here, hold down the Alter Option key and you can drag. And when you've done that, you've obviously got that. Exactly the same as before. Again, go down here, go to the Node tool. With the Node tool selected there, you can click this one. Might certainly click in the center there so it click, actually selects that line. And again, hold down the shift, click there. You've got both selected. I want to connect this one and this one. So again, go over here, no tool, select it and drag. They're selected. You can see it's highlighted by the blue. So now just simply go up here, it's available. So you can click join curves and then you'll get that. And you can go down the bottom, of course, and you can select those and then click that and then that makes that so you get obviously in this case a sort of rhombus shape now of course you could undo that and you can go back here and instead let's just select this one we'll go all the way back to having the curves lines like that now you could of course select this one and select this one again holding down the shift select this and select this one so you've got that Hold down the shift, mate, so you select both of them. If you don't hold the shift down, it suddenly will just set only one. So shift needs to be hold, held down. Now, once you've done that, you can again click here and then you get the zigzag design. And of course, you could continue that all the way along. So let's just quickly create this. And I'm just going to go remove that one because what you can do, you've got the move tool here, press return, press return or enter, and I can create multiple copies. So duplicate, number of copies, five or six and maybe 20 let's give a maybe more maybe a bit more than that 70 so 70 so you can see you've got that exactly the same you can then with the no tool let's just go down here here's the no tool again selected like so you can move it around you don't have to have in that position you might prefer at the top and then with that you can hold down shift select all those and now with that let's just select another one so I've got those selected, hold there, click there, hold down the shift, click this one down the bottom, click this one here, click this one here, click that one there. And you can see what I'm doing, just going up and down. A slow way of maybe making a zigzag, but you can see you can do that. And then once you've done that, join curves and you get that. Not what I was expecting, but it shows you that sometimes what might be better is just to do it one at a time. So what I want to do is make, let's just select the top one, gain, hold down the shift, make sure you select that, want that one, and that one. That one, so I want a line to go down there. So click there, and now you see that. So again, you can go to this one, and again, hold there, click there, and again, click there, and so on. You can see you can build it up. So it really does matter in the way you do it, how you so it probably works best by doing it individually than trying to select individual the all the way along and then finding actually it doesn't create exactly the join that you think it's going to create. So you've got that. Now, of course, you could do it with curves. So let's just select that and remove those. Again, go for the pen tool, which is just above. Click there and you can create something like that. And click there. I want to do that. Escape, so I can create a new one and just drag like that. And you can see you get a design like that, move it around, reposition it. But as long as you gain, go over here and go down to the no tool, no tool there, hold down the shift, select that one and drag over those or hold down the shift key and select them. So you've got that one selected and you've got that one selected. Exactly the same as before, you've got the join, join curves. And you can see it does that. It doesn't always do it elegantly. Now, personally, let's just undo that. I would have thought it would have just done a nice sort of curve. It would have made an effort to do a, a smart curve. But it's not very smart. It really doesn't always result in the thing that you think. And it does require then maybe some additional before you do it. Is I think it's just nice to line it up in a particular way that makes it perhaps more useful for you. You can get something like that. I think that's all look. So now it might still introduce a kink in it. Let's just go again to 
no tool and it's down here somewhere there it is just behind that and now again shift hold that select and select and again just click here ah this is a problem with the way it does it if you want to create a curve the the line it generates in this case sometime isn't not elegant and it's just requires then a bit of maybe manipulation of the control points and just drag this along that line like that and manipulate it a bit for, to tidy it up to make it less like a bit of a mess okay that is a run through and you can do exactly the same as everything i've done here in affinity photo you can do exactly the same here in affinity designer as well and of course there's probably many other ways you can use this so please put in the comments below the sort of lines that you want to join also please put in the comments things where it seems to go wrong because it's always nice to know where does it seem to break down or having problems you could see there with that one it's certainly clearly an issue it works generally very nice if you've got like this very basic now if you create this you need to convert it to curves so click there and now it's broken you can then see select those and i can break this apart now i get all these curves with this straight lines you can easily again just join say one let's say there's no tool select there and it will do it very nicely just using that but it doesn't always work brilliantly with curves and the result sometimes can be slightly frustrating and require additional work so it will be nice to hear if you've had similar problems thoughts everything great to hear from you a like or dislike always appreciated bye